Now, you were kind of a relative unknown to UNC fans prior to committing. Yes, sir. Did you feel like suddenly you were famous? Or talk about, a little bit about that, about how suddenly you probably got an outpouring of support and people like that. But well, uh, how, how much did life change for you? It, it changed a lot um, from day one. Just people that I've not talked to in a while, just just saying congratulations and, and all that. And I used to be, I, this is pretty well known, I used to be Duke fans, so some Duke fans got on me. but. Uh, it, it's just changed. Uh, there's, I've met a, numerous people, um, and I'm just going to continue to meet new people. And it's it's just great because of the family and the networking. And Coach Williams has been a, been a great asset, and uh, Coach Has, Coach Robinson, and uh, Coach Coach McGrath. And I'm, I'm just it's life has changed, but it's changed for the best. All right. Towards the end of the game, I, I started getting in the rhythm. Um, the thing I just got to work on is doing that for, for 40 minutes and. Uh, Perfect way to do it Monday or no, starting tomorrow, actually. Sorry, just sort of like you, high school one and then. Well, I think I speak for everybody saying, you know, there's some things that we all want to finish, finish off on the right note, but then I'm, I'm anxious because, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be with great guys, great teammates next year and going for the national championship. And that's, those stakes are just, that's a great way to come in for me. I can't wait. Uh, I'm real close with Tyler Selly. Um, he goes to my official visit. And then uh, Harrison, Reggie, and Kendall, I'm real close with. Um, and, and I'm just, I'm close with all of them. It's a great family atmosphere down there, and they've all took me on my way. And, uh, it's, it's just been awesome. What about your um, incoming teammates, the guys you're coming in with? Uh, what about them? How do you feel about their game? Uh, well, they all got great, they all got, they all have skills that are very, very great. James running the floor, just his office game, PJ shooting, Stillman running the show, and Desmond just just being a defensive player. What do you see yourself fitting in? I just win it, doing whatever it takes to win and then just growing from there and expanding my game. And then you know, sky's the limit. What do you need to expand on? Just just be more aggressive. At, at times I feel like I do it, you know, but it's not all the time. I need to do it 40, 40 minutes. But it's it just getting stronger and maturing, and all and all that will come. But the biggest thing is being aggressive and just continuing to learn the game of basketball. You talked about Zeller uh, hosted you. What did you see in his game this year? Because he made a pretty big jump up. What did you see that we can use personally? We'll stay healthy. That's, that's the biggest thing I yeah. do. But uh, we, we talked. and. Just running the court, he told me if he makes, if you make your man run the court, eventually he's going to get tired, and you're, he's going to have to keep up with you, and then he'll wear it. And just his confidence, and just going straight in the move, not not gathering, just going straight in the move, and being explosive. And that's one thing I need to really harness in on my game. It's just going and not not waiting for the defense to come in. Is he going to teach you a little jump, baby hook? Uh, you got to that. Well, that's. I'm gonna ask him about that. I gotta find out those secrets. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm a, the biggest thing I'm anxious about. And I hope Harris can say this. But the biggest thing that I'm back, the reason I'm happy that I'm back is because I want to learn from them and be able to apply what I've learned from them down the road to get the next generation of Tar Heel basketball players.